come to kneeling at the back of your mat. Place the hands on the thighs and just begin to take several deep breaths. With each breath, feel yourself arrive, arriving to this present moment, arriving to your practice, arriving to this place in space and time where you just get to be with your body and breathe. With your next inhale, roll the shoulders up to the ears and exhale them down the spine. And again, inhale up, exhale down. Switching that direction of rotation, inhale forward and up, and then exhale down. And a couple more times. Just letting the breath become even deeper as you go. Draw the right ear towards the right shoulder, stretching the left side of the neck, and pause. Maybe rotating the chin down towards the chest, or rotating up towards in front of you. Then rock the head over towards the left, left ear to left shoulder. Stretch the right side of the neck and tuck the chin, lift the chin. Draw the chin into the chest and rise to your knees. Place the left hand by the left low back and inhale right arm up and overhead for a baby camel pose. Supporting the low back with the left hand, gaze meets the corner of the wall. Switch sides. Right hand to right hip, inhale left arm up and overhead. Back bending here, gaze up towards the ceiling. Make sure you're not dumping into the back of the neck. Exhale, let it go. Place both hands at the low back, fingertips pointing down towards the floor. Hands right on the top of the bum. And with an inhale, back bend into the hands. Inhale, come to center. Interlace the hands at the base of the spine. Draw the hands away from the body. And with an exhale, fold over the legs. Reach the arms forward and up. Big stretch through the shoulders, the chest. Breathe deeper here. Notice where you're experiencing this pose the most in your body and breathe into it. Inhale, rise. Release the hands and inhale them up towards the sky. Right hand reaches for left wrist, side body stretch towards the right. Inhale, center, left hand to right wrist, side body stretch to the left. Come to center, reach the arms down towards the ground, find a tabletop position. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round the spine and tuck the tailbone. Moving through cat-cow. Link the movement with your breath. So when the inhale begins, we lift the gaze, lift the tailbone, drop the belly. And as the exhale begins, we lift the spine up towards the ceiling as we tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone. Warming up through the entire length of the spine here. Place the hands one hand length out in front of you. Inhale, draw the chest forward, upward facing dog. Exhale, glide the hips back, child's pose. The 
Then inhale, take it forward. Upward facing dog variation. Gaze up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, lift the hips, drop the chest down, drop the head towards the mat. Moving through a flow here, link the movement with your breath. Moving from pose to pose, waving the spine forward and back. Let the movements in and out of the pose become a little bit more dramatic. Try to slow down the movement and experience it through each vertebrae, one at a time. The next time you're in child's pose, rest there with the forehead on the earth. Hips reaching down towards the heels, arms relaxed. for a moment here, breathing deeply and noticing and fully embodying how it feels to be here. Slowly rise, tuck the toes under, lift your hips high, downward facing dog. With an inhale, take the right leg high. Exhale, set the foot down. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, set the foot down. Take one big step up to meet the hands. Find forward fold at the top of your mat. Shift your weight towards your toes to deepen the stretch. With an inhale, find halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise, Tadasana, hands up and overhead. Exhale, cactus, open the arms, shine the heart upward. Inhale, reach with the hands. And then shift your weight into the right foot. Lift the left foot up and off the ground. Point and flex the toes. Send the hands to the heart as you kick the left leg behind you, warrior three. Find your center here and find your balance. Micro bend in the standing leg can help. Slowly with control, lower the left leg down, find high crescent lunge. Open up, spiral onto the back heel, warrior two. Knee is right over the front ankle. Back foot is parallel with the back edge of your mat. Flip the front palm, and then exhale, reverse warrior, as you bend towards the back of your mat. Keep the legs right where they are. Feel a side body stretch along the right side of your body. Exhale, side angle pose. Right hand comes into the inside of the right foot, left arm up and overhead. With an inhale, place the left hand down and the right arm up as you open the chest towards the right, coming up onto the ball of the back foot for a revolved high lunge. Exhale, come back, side angle pose, right arm down, left arm up. Make sure the back foot is in line with the back edge of the mat. And then exhale, rise and reverse your warrior two. Inhale back, side angle. And then with an inhale, rotate open, revolved high lunge. Holding for the exhale, and with the inhale we switch, side angle. And then inhale, reverse. So we're flowing in and out of these three postures. Holding for the exhale and transitioning with the inhale. 
I invite you to drop into your body, into your breath, and explore this movement from pose to pose. Inhales are a transition, and with the exhales, we hold the pose. Lower down onto the back knee from revolved high lunge. Open up the arms towards the right, and then reverse right arm to the left thigh and left arm up and overhead. Hands frame the front foot, curl back, toes under. Step it back for plank pose and then rotate onto the left hand for side plank. Step the right foot behind you for wild thing. Right arm reaches up and overhead, lift the hips high. Step the right foot in and open up, find half moon. Right hand to the right corner of your mat. Left arm and left foot rising up. Stack the hips. And then option to bend the left leg, reaching for a bind. Slowly release the bind. Step the left foot down and then come into side plank on the left. Hands come down, draw the right knee in for pigeon pose. Stay high onto the hands for a few rounds of breath. And then maybe you'd like to come down, maybe creating a pillow for the hands, or just resting on the forearms. Let yourself drop even deeper into your breath. Draw your awareness to the sensations that you're feeling in this pose in your body. Rise and shift your weight on towards your right hip. Swing your left leg forward in front of you, setting up for Janu Sirsasana the left hand on the right knee and then inhale the right arm up and overhead towards the left toes breathe deeply here feeling this nice stretch through your low back and your side body inhale rise left arm behind you reach right arm up and overhead as you lift the hips for a back bend Exhale, lower down. Plant the hands and step it back for plank pose. Inhale, three-legged downward dog, right leg to the sky. Bend the right leg, stack the hips. Inhale, three-legged downward dog. Exhale, lower the foot down. Take one big step up, forward fold. Exhale down, let everything go and surrender to gravity. Shift the weight towards the toes to deepen the stretch through the backs of your legs. With an inhale, find a halfway lift. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, rise, Tadasana pose, arms up and overhead. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, reach. Shift the weight in towards the left foot and step the right foot up and off the ground. Point and flex the foot, offering a little stretch in the ankle for mobility. And then bow forward, hands at the heart center as you kick the right foot back behind you, warrior three. Find your breath here and find your balance. 
and then slowly with control lower the right foot down behind you transitioning into crescent lunge arms are up and overhead back leg is actively working to become straighter inhale and then exhale open up warrior two spiral out onto the back heel back foot in line with the back edge of your mat arms parallel with the ground Inhale, flip front palm. Exhale, reverse warrior. Keep the legs right where they are. Find a side body stretch on the left side of your body. Exhale, side angle pose. Left arm comes down, right arm comes up and overhead. Spiral out on the ball of the back foot as you place right hand down and left arm up. Open the chest towards the left side of the mat. I revolved crescent lunge. Inhale, side angle pose. And then reverse, warrior two. Coming back to your flow here, in and out of these three poses. With the inhale, you transition. The exhale, you hold the pose. Always making sure to find that rotation on the back foot. You transition from revolved lunge back to side angle. Moving slowly with your breath, finding your flow here. Make your way to revolved high lunge. Right hand down, left arm up and overhead on the ball of the back foot. Lower down onto the back knee. Rise, keeping the rotation through the chest towards the left. Revolved low lunge. Exhale, reverse low lunge. Left hand to the right thigh. Right arm up and overhead. Gaze follows. Hands come frame front foot. Step it back for side plank on the right. Pick up the left foot and place it behind you for wild thing. Reach the left arm up and overhead, resting on the ball of the standing left foot. Transition back to side plank on the right. Draw the left knee into the chest. Place it forward on the mat, left hand down. Find half moon. Right leg lifted, right arm lifted. Stack the hips and stack the shoulders. From here, option to find a bind by bending the top leg and clasping it with the right hand. Inhale, everything unwinds. Step it back, side plank on the right. Rotate forward to a regular plank. Draw the left knee into the chest and then place it down for pigeon pose. Stay high onto the hands for a few breaths. Slowly with control, sinking the hips down closer towards the floor. And then when you're ready, make your way down to your forearms or maybe create a pillow with the hands for the head. Drop into your breath and drop into the sensations you're experiencing in this pose.
Shift your weight onto your left hip as you draw the right leg forward. Come into Janu Sarsasana. Right hand to left knee. Left arm up and overhead, reaching towards right toes. Big side body stretch on the left. Let the breath become deeper, so deep that you feel it eating in this stretch as your chest expands and you fill up. Inhale, unwind, left arm behind you, right arm up and overhead. Send the hips forward, back bend. Make your way down, plant the hands. Step back, three-legged downward dog. Inhale, left leg high. Stack the hip, bend the knee. Inhale, extend, and place the foot back down. Come up high onto the toes. Roll forward into plank pose. Exhale slowly all the way down to your belly. Place the left arm out to a T, and then peel the chest slowly up stretching into the left shoulder. Maybe the right foot comes behind the left to aid in the twist. Hold down onto the belly. Place the right leg into a frog position at a 90 degree angle out towards the right. And come high onto the forearms for a sphinx pose. Press the ground away. Lift the crown of the head up and out of the pose. Tuck the left shoulder under the body and then open up for supine twist. Left knee is reaching over towards the right. The gaze is falling over towards the left. Inhale to roll onto your belly again. Extend right arm out and then peel up the chest towards the left side of the mat. The left arm comes behind the right for stability here as you stretch through the right shoulder. Roll onto the belly, take the left knee to a 90 degree angle out towards the left for a frog stretch. And then come onto the forearms, finding a sphinx pose. Press the ground away and feel engaged in the arms. Lifting the crown of the head up and out of the pose just a little more, drawing your chest through your arms. Tuck the right arm underneath the left and open up for supine twist. Right leg over towards the left, gaze over towards the right. Extend the right leg long, roll onto your back. Making any adjustments for your Shavasana pose. Adjusting your clothing, your body. The hands be out to the sides, palms face up. 
and let your eyes rest down. Let your breath become totally natural and just see if you can rest in this place of stillness for a full minute. Bring the hands to prayer position with the thumbs resting on the third eye. Namaste.